confidence and supply opposition independence vacancies the Grand National Assembly of Turkey in May 1920. The parliament was fundamental in the efforts of Maresal Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, first president of the Republic of Turkey, and his colleagues to found a new state out of the remnants of the Ottoman Empire. Turkey has had a history of parliamentary government before the establishment of the current national parliament. These include attempts at curbing absolute monarchy during the Ottoman Empire through constitutional monarchy, as well as establishments of caretaker national assemblies immediately prior to the declaration of the Republic of Turkey in 1923 but after the de facto dissolution of the Ottoman Empire earlier in the decade. There were two periods of parliamentary governance during the Ottoman Empire. The first constitutional era lasted for only two years, elections being held only twice. After the first elections, there were a number of criticisms of the government due to the Russo-Turkish War, 1877-1878 by the representatives, and the assembly was dissolved and an election called on 28 June 1877. The Second Assembly was also dissolved by the Sultan Abdul Hamid II on 14 February 1878. The result being the return of absolute monarchy with Abdul Hamid II in power and the suspension of the Ottoman Constitution of 1876, which had come with the democratic reforms resulting in the First Constitutional Era. The Second Constitutional Era began on 23 July 1908 with the Young Turk Revolution. The constitution that was written for the first parliament included control of the Sultan on the public and was removed during 1909, 1912, 1914 and 1916, in a session known as the Declaration of Freedom. Most of the modern parliamentary rights that were not granted in the first constitution were granted, such as the abolition of the right of the Sultan to deport citizens that were claimed to have committed harmful activities the establishment of a free press, a ban on censorship, freedom to hold meetings and establish political parties was recognized, and the government was held responsible to the assembly, not to the sultan. During the two constitutional eras of the Ottoman Empire, the Ottoman parliament was called the General Assembly of the Ottoman Empire and was bicameral. The upper house was the Senate of the Ottoman Empire, the members of which were selected by the sultan. The role of the Grand Vizier, the centuries-old top ministerial office in the empire, transformed in line with other European states into one identical to the office of a prime minister, as well as that of the Speaker of the Senate. The lower chamber of the General Assembly was the Chamber of Deputies of the Ottoman Empire, the members of which were elected by the general public. After World War I, the victorious allied powers sought the dismemberment of the Ottoman Empire through the Treaty of Sevre. The sovereign existence of the Turkish nation was to be eliminated under these plans, except for a small region. Nationalist Turkish sentiment rose in the Anatolian Peninsula, engendering the establishment of the Turkish national movement. The political developments during this period have made a lasting impact which continues to affect the character of the Turkish nation. During the Turkish War of Independence, Mustafa Kemal put forth the notion that there would be only one way for the liberation of the Turkish people in the aftermath of World War I, namely, through the creation of an independent, sovereign Turkish state. The Sultanate was abolished by the newly founded parliament in 1922, paving the way for the formal proclamation of the republic that was to come on 29 October 1923. Mustafa Kemal, in a speech he made on 19 March 1920 announced that, an assembly will be gathered in Ankara that will possess extraordinary powers, and communicated how the members who would participate in the assembly would be elected and the need to realize elections. At the latest, within 15 days, he also stated that the members of the dispersed Ottoman Chamber of Deputies could also participate in the assembly in Ankara, to increase the representative power of the parliament. These elections were held as planned, in the style of the elections of the preceding Chamber of Deputies, in order to select the first members of the new Turkish Assembly. This Grand National Assembly, established on national sovereignty, held its inaugural session on 23 April 1920.
from this date until the end of the Turkish War of Independence in 1923. The Provisional Government of Turkey was known as the Government of the Grand National Assembly. The first trial of multi-party politics during the Republican era was made in 1924 by the establishment of the Terakipurva Kamuri at Firkasi at the request of Mustafa Kemal, which was closed after several months, following a six-year one-party rule. After the foundation of the Serbist Firka by Ali Fethi Okya, again at the request of Moose, 